Hello everyone, this is Grade 1, Module 3, Lesson 7 Homework. The directions up here say cut the strip of paper clips, measure the length of each object with the large paper clips to the right, then measure the length with the small paper clips on the back. So what I'm going to do is I have two uh, paper clips off to the side here, uh, my big one, my small one, and I'm going to turn those sideways and we're going to start measuring with both of them. So now let's pull over some of these uh, larger paper clips and start measuring. And remember when I measure this, I want to get all the way out to the end point of my object and I'm going to go straight across. Yours is going to be a little bit easier to do because you'll have the whole strip. You can just set it down and kind of mark it off. And I see I'm at about four uh, if I push those closer together. So um, the size of this is four large paper clips. And I'm going to write that for LP large paper clips because I see I got to fill in the chart on the back of the page with my measurements. I'm going to go to that in just a second. Um, now I can pull over my small ones and I'm going to go just above it so you can see the difference. If I push those close I'm at about six. So that's going to be six small paper clips. So now let's go to the second page and look at how we're going to record this in. So the paintbrush uh, length in large paper clips was uh, four, and the length in small paper clips was six. So I'm going to go through and do that for the rest of these for B, C, D, and E, all those objects on the front. And then at the bottom, you'll see find objects around your home to measure. Record the objects you find and their measurements in the chart. So for A, if you decide to measure uh, like a bottle of ketchup, you'll put ketchup. And then you're going to put your length in the large paper clips and then the length in the small. So you'll measure it twice, one with each. And remember with measuring, we want to make sure that we line up our endpoints and that the paper clips are touching, but they're not overlapping and that there's no space in between. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your homework.